welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori with crazy hair. I decided with this social distancing thing, we're gonna do some housework today. I'm gonna bring you along. Uh, first things first, I've got my dining room to pick up. Kitchen needs to be wiped down. We're gonna make some antibacterial, some disinfectant spray with vinegar and water. We're gonna have some coffee in my meowjical mug. Hi, you want to say hi to the people? Whoa, my here's Sir Wellington. Right, buddy? Yeah, and Alex, where's Alex? Yesterday was his birthday, he is 12 now. Come here, buddy, come here, Alex. Come here, you want to say hi to the friends? Come on. He's not happy with me right now. Ugh. He does this thing where he runs under my feet and then I step on him. Do you say hi? He's like, whoa, what's up here? Um, I am going to use my Dollar Tree plant trimmers. Here you go, buddy. We're going to see how these things work. And I can already tell you I like about them is this lock. So when you squeeze them, hit the lock, they open. They're pretty sharp. But it holds it shut. And I do have a plant over here that needs some attention. And this is one of the ones that's going to get separated out for sure. So let's get our day started. we got lots to do. All right. So this plant here, I'm just watering. This I thought was a philodendron because that's what the tag said from Aldi, but it is not. It is an aluminum plant. I did get on the ASPCA website. It is not toxic to cats, so it gets to stay. Um, the tag said to let it dry out between watering, but since we determined the tag is wrong, I'm not exactly sure how to care for this yet, so I'm going to get online here soon. It's going to get replanted in the spring, but it's still a little early for that. Now this plant here, it's just been a mess since I put it in this um, planter. It's getting a new home as well in the spring. And I'm separating out all of my plants that came as planters. So this, if you can see, has a vining plant and this tall thing, and I don't think they're happy together. So we're just going to do a little separation, but right now I forgot to water this, so it's not super happy with me, but we're just going to cut off all the dead, anything dead coming up out of here. Um, and then we're going to put it in some sunlight and moving the plants to the front window. See, this has regrowth on it, but I think it'll be happier in the front window with some sunshine. Uh, the sun, you know, it's getting stronger. So I need to give them a drink of water and then they're going to start. I'm going to bring all the plants over, give them all a good drink, take off any dead that I find on them before I clean my kitchen floor. <laughs> And then put them in the front window. The cats aren't going to be too thrilled with me. But they'll be okay. So that's my current project. Okay, guys. We are ready to rock and roll. So what I did, we're going to make bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. Ooh, I took a pork tenderloin that I had in my freezer. And I made last night an Italian style dressing. I just put Italian seasoning in a jar with some bacon, uh, not bacon, <laughs> in, a, uh, in a container with um, what I put in it, vinegar, red wine vinegar, uh, olive oil, I use Dijon mustard to like emulsify it so it doesn't separate, and then Italian seasoning, just dry even, and I let it sit overnight. So now that's done. I took bacon and I just laid it out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of bacon. Um, it's overlapping here. And I just made it long enough for the roast. And then all you do, it's 
not going to be super tight and that's okay but pork tenderloin is very dry because pork has been bred to be leaner so I'm, I'm just going to wrap up the bacon I mean guys look at this tell me this is not an amazing looking piece of meat here Ooh. and that is it right there let me rinse my hands real quick because I was just touching meat and I have soapy water in my sink to get the soapy hands clean now I have the oven on 350 and this is and I got this I think at Walmart Oh, here we go. And it's a thermometer that goes in your oven. And I'm gonna set it for 170 degrees. And what you'll, what I do, let me show ya. I have it not set for time, but temperature. So it, when it hits 170, the, therm, uh, the alarm will go off. Now, you want it in the center not too close to the pan not too close to the top this cord just hangs out the oven rack is in the center and that's it when it hits 170 i'll probably at some point put the broiler on just to allow the bacon to crisp up a little bit and then i'm going to continue cleaning my house Ooh. all right now we are just doing some dishes, cat bowls. I buy these at the Dollar Tree and I love them. You just wash it up, I got a couple new ones. Um, I give the boys a couple tablespoons of wet food at night, I'll show you. They share one of these perfect portions. So it's about two tablespoons, if that. Um, and I put half in each and then I wash them. I don't like to use the same bowl for wet food. And I somehow lost my purple one and I grabbed two more of the screen. And um, what I love about them is they have this rubber bottom. And if you have a small dog, same thing, it doesn't scooch across the floor. So I did pick those up. I just needed to wash them out. Um, the other thing that's pretty great is these Dollar Tree, I use them to clean my glasses and my water bottles and things. These work great. And I have been sticking it in the dishwasher it's running through and coming out nice and clean. Same thing with your sponges. You can put them in the microwave for um, like a minute wet and it will disinfect them. And I'm putting out a video here in a minute, so it'll already be up on the channel before you see this vlog of um, how I make my vinegar cleaning solution. If I don't have any other disinfectant, vinegar is cheap and it's a really good disinfectant. And I feel like this is the perfect time to go around my house and just hit all the surfaces, hit all the surfaces up. So when this is dry, I'm gonna take everything off my counters. I've got my pork tenderloin in the oven and I'm getting ready to make some broccoli. All right, my pork tenderloin is out of the oven. So what I'm gonna do first is just slice it. Um, you know, I'll portion it out into my five lunches for the week. But look at that, look how moist and juicy that is. This is definitely keto. Um, yeah, this'll be at plenty. I'll probably have some for dinner tonight too. And then obviously like a lot of businesses, mine is contemplating us working from home. If I get sent home to work, um, which is fine, I'm prepared for that, then I will still need lunch, so I'll just eat this at home. And then the other thing I made to go with it, let me bring it over here a little bit, is I made some broccoli, and I just cooked it in a little, I just cooked it in water first, and then, um, trying to find a slotted spoon, guys. Found one. Cooked it in water, and then I just put some butter and garlic and lemon pepper on it. 
So that will be my lunch for the week. You know, I'll get it this all portioned out. I don't need a ton. And then for breakfast so far, I've boiled eggs. I'll cut up some cheese most likely. And I have some salami and that will make a good breakfast. I typically do meat, cheese, eggs for breakfast. Next up, ooh, lost my bacon. I was gonna crisp up the bacon on it, but I feel like it would have dried out the pork and I'd rather have not crunchy bacon than dried out pork, if that makes sense. So, we'll make this work. And next up, I've got a basket full of laundry in the, I say laundry, it's socks, bras, and underwear is what it is. <laughs> I've been doing laundry this week and I just keep tossing everything, all the socks and stuff into that basket. So now it's time to do it. So I'll meet you in the living room. All right, guys, this is where I put my plants for the summer. Um, I think I love it. I know I do. I leave the white rug for the cats to lay on. They love laying in this window. So I have this plant over here that needs a good trimming. It's going to start vining and I'm not a fan of too much vining. There's my aluminum plant. Now once I change out all these pots, it may look a little different. My mom's Christmas cactus. And on this plant, I took a cutting for um, my niece and her girlfriends. And it's super easy. You cut off a tip, not like this one because it's getting ready to flower or getting a new bud, but like down here, cut off two, stick it in dirt, done. And these two dragon plants, the other larger plants are still in the window. Oh, and my little cat. So that's it. I'm starting to get ready for spring. All right, and the last thing I'm doing tonight, guys, is folding this socks, bras, underwear stuff. Needs to be taken care of. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good week. Stay safe out there. Hi, Dubs. Hi, baby. And... You have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.